Well, it had to happen eventually. Somebody, I think, is making a star of this programme. And he's my next guest. He's Gary Keneally. Good morning, Gary. Morning, Billy. How are you? I'm very well indeed. Welcome to the programme. Thank I you. I must say, I love it. Explain to our <laughs> listeners what you've done with one of our interviews. I listened to a um, piece of audio. A, it was one of your broadcasts back in 2006. Right. Of a lady from Waterford uh, ringing up and speaking about uh, the old Waterford Cineplex in Patrick Street. Right. And it was uh, the 8th of December, the uh, Holy Day, and there was yeah. uh, two members of staff on to uh, deal with about seven or 800 kids from Waterford uh, in the cinema. So I took this piece of audio and I've now turned it into a stop-motion animation, like a short film that kind of visually uh, recreates what I saw as the chaos of the, um, of the event. It's very hard to talk about something that is visual on talk radio, right? So, where can listeners actually go to see it? It's, you, you go onto YouTube, and what do you type in t to the search? You just type in Waterford Cineplex, Patrick Street. Waterford Cineplex, Patrick Street. Yeah, and I think the link is there on the WLRFM Facebook page. It so. is, yeah. We are pushing it like wildfire here. But we love it in here. Fantastic. And if Anne is, and we know that Anne is still one of our listeners. If, if she, if she uh, has access to the net, go and see it yourself because you've done an absolutely fantastic job. It's getting professional reaction too, isn't it, from your peers? It is, yeah. I mean, the people have actually said to me things like, um, how did you get Billy to do that? Or how did you get your woman to narrate it? Because they, they think that the, the thing is total fiction. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. And there are some lovely touches in it. Anne says, didn't you not know it was a holy day? And the person said, I'm not, well, I haven't been to, to church in many's the year. And then she says, well, what school did you go to? And That's the thing, right, yeah. the thing just builds <laughs> up. It's fantastic. It really is brilliant. You've done a documentary on the Wolf Tones. That's right, Billy. That was released internationally on DVD at Christmas there. It's been doing quite well now on DVD, so it's actually it's headlining the Los Angeles Irish Film Festival on the 26th of September this year. Fantastic. And Pretty is this a fly-on-the-wall documentary? That's right. So it, it followed them around over a period of three years, and it's the first time that their personal memoirs have kind of been documented on film. Well, continued success to you, and thanks for using that clip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, Billy. Thank God you. bless. Bye, 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 bye. Billy, uh, that's Gary Keneally, young Waterford uh, filmmaker of Keneally Films. He's done a fantastic job with an interview that I did with a regular listener called Anne on this program back in nineteen, no, two thousand and six. And please go to our Facebook page to see what we're talking about. It is beautifully done and very amusing. And. Uh, Anne, who features in it, and she says she's back on by text. Billy, I will see it tonight. My family love it. My daughter in America has been on to say that she loves it. Good luck with the Gary, she says. And that comes in from Anne, and her voice is the star of that video. We got a text in <laughs> from a listener about 20 minutes ago. Maybe the Finnish listener. Would you please tell the two who are carrying on in their car, or in a car, in the, and then they name the car park, to please get a room, because it is far too early in the morning for this kind of carry-on. <laughs> I love this programme. We deal with all kinds of everything. So if you've just now, if you've been listening to us in the background, <laughs> when you were doing what you were doing, please, our listener says, it's far too early in the morning to be doing this kind of thing, particularly in public. So would you ever get a room? And it's happening in one of the car parks not in the inner city or indeed within the well yeah, mm, no I'm not going to say anymore <laughs> so, again back to the variety that we give you every morning on this program uh, here's another example of it this says that two goats have apparently wandered into a garden of a house in Ballybeg and the lady owner of the house says that she would prefer if they were not there. She says, if someone owns them, can they please contact reception? And re reception here uh, will give them uh, the address. And you can go and pick up your goats. So, as we say, up Ireland. You've been listening to Thursday's Day AM. The programme was produced by Jennifer Long and was edited and introduced by myself, Billy McCarthy. Thanks for all the ways in which you participate in the programme. It would never be the same without you, but most especially thanks for listening.